right, hello everybody, welcome to Gonex Gaming and some software, Inc. Haven't done this game in a long time on the channel, really loved playing this game, put close to 200 hours into it uh, way back when. We're going to start up a new one here, and we're going to see how it goes, we'll see if it sticks. Something new for the channel uh, recently, we, like I said, we did this way back in the past, um, but we're going to give it another try. So, we're going to go ahead and form our company here, our software company, uh, haven't decided what we're going to really make it yet. Maybe we'll make it something along the lines of a gaming uh, company, or maybe we'll make it a operating system company, or maybe we'll make it something like, I don't know, a hardware company, right? You could do, there's a hardware mods that we have that in the box, bottom right hand corner, we have uh, hardware mods. We're going to call this company Extortion Authorization Incorporated, EA for short. Don't worry, no relation to that other company. You know, the one that kind of does half a job on the games. We're going to complete our games, uh, or our software, I should say. I'm sorry, nope, nope, didn't say that at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and name my guy appropriately, and one way, which is my gamer name. Uh, he is male. Let's uh, go ahead and mess around here a little bit. Male, female, male, female, man, eh, man. Eh. See if we get something ridiculous going. All right, I think that kind of says it all right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of our traits here. Um, they've done some changes to this when you're when, with the game now, so like a lot of these things uh, uh, all have a greater impact. And uh, we're gonna make him. I don't want to make him naive. He's not naive. He's not generous. He's not a, he's not a flirt. He's an introvert. No extrovert. Goofy. Dramatic. Look at my flirt. There we go. Because, you know, that's completely work appropriate. Absolutely. Why not? There will be no harassment lawsuits at all in this company at Extortion Authorization, or EA for short. Uh, let us take a look and see. Programmer, definitely. Uh, no service. Maybe a little bit designer stuff. Maybe a little bit of artist stuff. But mostly programmer stuff. Can we balance those out there in the middle? Let's see. Can we balance these guys out together? There we go. Kind of do that. And then we're going to make our system guy here. Uh, we're going to make a program. We're going to do a little bit of 2D and audio. And we'll do some development stuff too. And some art stuffs. Why not? Now it looks like we have a bunch more that we could put in. So we'll do that there. And then we'll do 2D and audio there. I think I have a direction of what I want to do and go in. And we'll do 2D art. Uh, we're going to cancel that for now. Do you want to cancel the turtle? I know the game well enough. $10,000. Do we want to do more? Eh, we don't need that much money. We'll take a loan out if we need to. And we can start in 1980. I have a mod that actually lets you start off earlier, but we're not going to do that. Days in a month. Uh, we can make one day a month. We're going to go easy on this because it has been a while, and if we need to, we can always go harder. Oop. You have not used all your special specialization points. You sure want to continue? No. Oh yeah, the the leader stuff. I forgot about that. There's different stuff for your service and leader now. Uh, we'll make it. We'll make it that. We'll make it that. Uh, multitasking. We're gonna go HR all the way, so he can hire and fire people automatically, and then uh, it will just double everything else up there. Perfect. And then we have service stuff as well. We'll do support, some marketing, no law. We did mostly support and marketing. That should handle it for us. And now we can go move ahead. Nope. I cannot move ahead. What did I forget? Now can we go, please? Garage or an apartment? Uh, the garage is a lot cheaper, and the apartment is five forty-four. Let's start with the garage. Uh, not now. So let's get into our little building here. Like there's your garage, right? And if you come down here to the, uh, where is it? Right there. Yep. Toggle the walls. You can toggle the walls up and down uh, for that. I think we have to drop down a level. There it is. Yay! WSD WSAD keys. ASD keys to move around and we're gonna have to furnish our office. Let's go ahead and do that quickly. We'll go into the build mode here. And no, we don't want to start the leasing tutorial. We're going ahead and grabbing ourselves a, a desk. Quickly, we'll just throw that in the corner there. Along with a, we'll give ourselves a nice comfy chair. We can, we could spring a little bit for a comfy chair, right? And then we're definitely gonna need a computer, of course. And realistically, uh, where, where's going on here? And realistically, that's all we need to get started with our guy. They do some contract work and everything else. There used to be this really fantastic exploit in the game where 
you could um, make money without actually developing any software. We're going to put a clock in there right away um, just to make things a little bit easier. But my guy's not going to do much of anything else other than develop games and stuff like that. Uh, so let's take a look here. Project management. Try to dig into this a little bit. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done any of it. So we're going to do contracts. Uh, not now. We're going to take a look at logistics, I think, are the easiest ones to do, if I'm not mistaken. This they want a bad quality, which is fine. And we're going to accept that work. And we're going to have this waiting. And we're going to speed up time here a little bit until our guy shows up, which is probably not going to be until tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and skip that. And here he is. He's in, folks. And there he is. Amp one way in all his glory. Whoops. Got to get remember, it's WASD. And the Q and E keys do uh, make you go up and down a level because you can go up and down levels in this game. You know, down. I go down to the basement. There is no basement here. <laughs> anyway, he's going to be developing that piece of software. We can watch it here. Um, iterations are how, how well it's done, I guess. Um, I guess he's on the second iteration already. We got a month left. Here's iteration three going. And uh, realistically, we don't even have to go that far with it. We can just kind of uh, make sure that. It gets like one iteration and then develop and we can get it done by the end of the day, right? So, whoops, I keep hitting that uh, E key. Forgetting. And we're going to promote this to beta. And by the time he leaves for the day, we're going to have this out the door. We could probably get two of these finished per day, but he's finished five bugs. So we'll send that out. we got a nifty 6000 and we're up to 55600 50, I thought I started it with $10,000. Didn't I start with 10000 I could have sworn it was 10000 I mean, if we got to start with $55,000, that's super easy. Right? I didn't have any loans or anything, did I? Insurance, investments, finances, stocks. Finances, no. Loans, there we go. No, I don't have any loans. Interesting. Okay. All right, so we, uh, we developed that. Perfect. Let's get ourselves a new contract now. We're going to not do that now. Uh, I might cancel that, actually, altogether. We're going to accept this contract here. We fulfilled that other one. And it looks like they, uh, I don't know, they liked what we did. But whoa, this guy's speeding along. Develop. Promote. No bugs to fix. Finish. Done. 6100 Another $6,100 there. That was super easy. Uh, we could technically take on another contract if we wanted to. We should probably slow things down when we're getting uh, rolling here, though. We're not going to do too much of this. We're going to get ourselves started on a piece of software pretty quickly uh, if we can. Right, let's take another contract and uh, uh, game assets embedded. Let's see, this is mediocre, mediocre, bad, bad, mediocre, bad. This is bad. Okay, we'll accept that one. The better you are contracts and the better you uh, get them out, uh, the more the better your reputation is, I, I would say. So, like this one here was outstanding and it was one month early. So they were super happy. There was no penalties for anything. Our net profit was 8000 on that one. And the better you are, the better reputation gets off for these as well. So it's something to definitely consider. Here he is. He's back in. Whoop, we're developing. We're in moderation already. We're going to do that. And he's fix the bugs, and it's already done to good to go. We could probably do two of these a day, I want to say. So we're going we're gonna to try to ramp that up a little bit. If we get a couple of these in here. I don't want mediocres. I want bad, realistically. So we're going to wait until the next day. All right, here we are in morning. We're going to do ourselves a couple contracts here. Yeah, this one was bad. We'll accept that one. And then this one was bad as well. We'll accept that one. So we're going to do two. And we're going to have to keep a close eye on this as he comes into work. There he is. He's pounding away at the keyboard. We'll develop that one. We'll develop that one. This one we can promote. And then this one we can promote. And he'll work on the bugs. And he's already done by 12 o'clock. We can probably take on three contracts. This is ridiculous. We'll finish that one, and we'll finish that one. And we got top dollar for it. We're at 87000 already. All right, this seems a lot easier than the last time I played it. I got to be completely honest, fulfilled. Um, but we don't have much to choose from, so let's wait until tomorrow to see if we get anything uh, new. All right, we're in the new day. Our reputation is a, a two-star now. So we're looking like we're on the way up at least. And we, yeah, we got a bunch of new contracts here. 16,000 for this one, mediocre. Uh, rec minimum progress is 43.4%. Okay, this one's bad, we'll take that. We'll accept that work. And then, 
I want another bad one. I'll take that one, except that one. More bed work. And then we'll go for one of those mediocre ones, like tomorrow or something. Just to see how it rolls. So we'll develop that. We'll develop that. This one is waiting. Promote. And then this one here is promote. Alright. No bugs to fix, really? Boom. And then... Boom. And they look like they're both pretty good. Alright, so let's take a look at the contracts. And we just finished those, and we have the game assets, and outstanding and satisfactory. No, no penalties on any of these. Pretty decent. Yeah, look, no, no bugs and no penalties on anything. I mean, my guy's maxed out as far as like skills go. It's ridiculous. Is that because I picked easy? Maybe I went too easy on myself. Probably went too easy on myself. All right, let's get a cleaning crew in here and have her clean up because it's just filthy. It's yuckies. Come on in and clean up the slop there. It's amazing how dirty things get. Uh, with one guy in the building, right? I say at 100,000, we start looking at making our own uh, piece of software. We're going to figure that out. Maybe we'll do this mediocre one. 43% developer programmer. We do have a month to do it, so screw it. We've been able to do two of them in one day. Or one month, I should say. One day equals one month in this game. But let's, uh, let's give it a try. All right, it's morning, folks, and here he is. He's come on in, and he's, boom, he's right through that one. We'll give it a couple iterations here and see what happens. Now we'll develop it. we got to get up to that line there. It's already past noon. Uh-oh, we're getting close. Yep. But we have another month, so it doesn't matter. So I'll have come in and fix any bugs here in the morning before we ship this piece of beautiful software out. And then we start taking a look at developing our own software because we're over 100,000 at this point. Wow, a lot of bugs on this. I probably should have went for a few more iterations, i got to say. We're going to send that one out. It looks like we got the full outstanding quality. We'll take it. We got the full amount for that one. All right. So let's uh, slow things down a little bit here. Let's go take a look at developing our own software. So this is the new system tree that they kind of did here where you're picking your different types of uh, system interface, audio, network, render, blah, 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 all that stuff. So product name, uh, operating system, you can do 2D editor, audio, audio tool, game, offer software, or antivirus. I'm looking for something simple that we can do right away. Let's maybe start with like an antivirus program. Spyware Ender. Anti worm alarm. Anti malware choker. Oh, I like that. But we're gonna we're just gonna We're gonna change that just a little bit. Spam choker. Yeah, that's what we're going to call that one. Antivirus default uh, category, I guess that's the way it's going to stay with the prices. $2.52, it's an original IP. Uh, we don't have a server to put it on an SCM anyway. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to work with a publisher who's going to do the marketing and the printing for us. They're going to get some of the royalties, but that's okay. They expect it to be released by November of 1980. Let's cancel that. So we are going to do a file scanner, which will increase things a little bit here. Uh, less than a year to make that. And we are going to make a anti-theft, which does not affect anything here, but it does affect the price. And that looks like that's all we can do for now. We're going to put tech levels 1976 and 1980. Let's get rid of the anti-theft and we'll just leave the file scanner in there. And we're going to price this thing at, I guess, $13 for our spam choker. And uh, our consumer reach is $1.3 million with a 20% 21% interest. And uh, maybe we'll just do marketing. They want it by January 1981. So that gives us a little bit more time. The printing breaks up the royalties. I think we'll just pay for printing. We have some cash on hand. We can always throw a... Uh, a few other uh, contracts on there if we need to. If you accept this deal, you're contractually obligated to release your product no later than January 1981. Are you are you sure you want to continue? Yes, I'm sure I want to continue. Let's uh, skip to advanced future. Adv skip to advanced for future projects. I don't know. We're gonna do advanced, and we're gonna take a look here, and we're gonna go next page. Uh, I guess we're gonna put it on that operating system. 
Is there a royalty on there or licensing cost? It doesn't look like there's a licensing cost. You can't see your publishing deal. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do I own the rights to this thing here? Can I? What is the licensing fee on this? There's no licensing fee? Let's look at the ones with the most active users. Uh, this is the one we want. So it comes down to. Okay. So we do that one. We already had that in there. That's fine. Let's go back and pick our publisher again. Let's do the marketing. Fix that. Yes. We want to continue. Let's do advanced. No. Yes. No. Uh, passive protection. Active protection. It looks like interest gets affected if I go to active protection and it goes to zero if I do monitoring but it kind of stays here but it looks like they care more about passive protection than anything else I mean I don't have to go crazy with this thing but it's all about the passive protection all right we'll keep it that and we'll take a look here we got our digital depot this the, the publisher fringe digital and then the core team of course which is just me is going to make the piece of software uh, two designers two programmers but I am a superstar ace I am I am Bill Gates Steve Jobs and whoever else is great in software and that kind of stuff all wrapped into one and it's not gonna be a big deal so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna skip ahead here and we're gonna have imp one way oh dear look at the deer deer ran by there's lunch uh, he's already on iteration two so this is fantastic I think you could do up to four iterations if I'm not mistaken, but I think we're going to let him do all four iterations. Oh no, he's already through the month of September. That's terrible. October, here we go. Getting ready. There we go. There we go. Iteration four. I don't want to go past October doing iterations. So if this is not finished, we're going to move on. It's just going to have to do, you know? Yep, that's it. We're doing it. We're promoting it into alpha. So we need to get that code completed. We've got 10 followers. They're already moving on it. That's good. Here we are into November now. we got December and then January to release this thing. So get moving, buddy. This is your top priority. By hitting this little arrow here, makes it his top priority. He's not working on anything else, so it doesn't matter. We've got 112 in cash, though. We're not spending very much money uh, when it comes down to it. Oh, November's over already, too. Man, then months go quick. It's just like, you know, it's just like yesterday, it feels like. Um, yeah, so 66%, 68%. We've got to start working on... Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, yeah, I'll spend the 2500 and have them review it. Let's take a look at this thing. Oh, they love this. It's a 9.6 out of 10. How could you possibly want anything else? I mean, phew. promote, let's do it, forget it. We didn't finish it, I don't care. I mean, after all, we are EA. I mean, extortion authorization. I mean, yeah. All right, it's January. They're expecting us to release this thing. Let's get some bugs fixed out of this thing yet. We're still over 100000 which is good. So expenses aren't costing us a tremendous amount of money. Uh, we got some good business, business reputation. We got 63 followers, uh, 27 bugs. I say we do release now. All right, so let's go ahead and print some copies here. It looks like we could print 10000 for $21,000. Let's do it. Let's do it and call it a day. Support for Spam Choker. All right, there we go. Uh, I don't know if we made any money. We have 3,086 products been reviewed. Review of Spam Choker. Extortion Authorization, Inc. Enters security scene with Spam Choker. Extortion Authorization, Inc., is a newcomer and nobody knows them in the security market. Spam Choker has been a positive surprise. It is a very complex piece of craftsmanship and it runs very smooth. It will be interesting to see whether it can compare to Anti Sniffer Remover 5 by Slick Reality. It feels extremely outdated. Oh well, okay. To wrap this up, Spam Choker is, is what you'd expect and nothing more. We don't expect it to sell very well. Maybe if they marketed it some more, they need to build a fan base in the market and hopefully this will this release will help but of course it will so let's take a look at uh where's our software boop project management ah my releases there we go so we take a look at my releases it made twenty eight thousand dollars last month we sold three thousand copies we have seven thousand in stock 
and it cost us a half a million dollars uh, we've lost in profit. How the frig do we lose a half a million dollars when we only have 109? I really feel like these numbers are way off. It's been like this for quite some time. They really need to fix what this means. Like, we didn't invest a half a million dollars into this game. Maybe... Maybe the company Fringe Digital has put half a million on it, I guess. I don't know. With their marketing deal, well, maybe we should try one without the, the marketing deal and see what happens. But I mean, yeah. That's rough. Anyway, we're going to take some of that newly found money and we're going to go call cleaning and have our office cleaned up because it's filthy. And that's the what it is, folks. So we have our first one under our belt. Uh, we're not making any more money. We're going to go ahead and do a contract, though. I think it's time for one of those. Get a few more dollars under our belt. It's 1130. We can accept this work. And we're going to go ahead and ramp up the production on this thing. We're going to develop that. It probably won't get done by the end of the day, but that's okay. We do have a whole month to finish it. And there we go. Working on those bugs, working on those bugs. Working on some more bugs. Just a few more bugs. And we're going to finish it. Outstanding quality, another $6,400. We'll take that. Alright, so... Do we dare make Spam Choker 2? What do we think? Do we want to re early release its replacement? I mean, I'm excited to try and see what we can do out of this. So let's make a sequel. We'll do that. We'll go ahead. We'll do that. Spam Choker 2. I'm just going to do the whole Roman numeral thing here on that. Nope, not like that. And let's, uh, if that's going to stay the same, we're going to do advanced on this anyway. We're going to do another marketing deal. Uh, you know what? What does funding do for us? We get $2,900 funding. That last game was $500,000 and they gave us 3000 bucks here to fund this one. I mean, the last game, the last piece of software, less antivirus. You know what? Let's try to do our own marketing and see what happens. Expected interest is 3%. Okay, so we know we want to do file scanner for sure. Let's add the file encryption in there and see if that raises interest a little bit. It does. Not a little bit, but a lot of it. Okay. We got a little bit of a speed boost in there, so kind of same deal it's going to take us. We have no restriction on us whatsoever. We can take as long as we'd like on this. And let's see if we can add anything else in here. Is there any new OSs to want to put this onto? I mean, there's Frame 3, which came out in 78. And then the INT OS 4. four came out in 1980, but it's not as popular. Okay, let's do all three of these. It's probably going to add to the time it takes to develop this. This is about a year. Our passive protection is right exactly where we want it to be. Uh, this doesn't, well, it doesn't change interest much if we, do it, if we do that. So we might as well put it right there. What's the difference at this point, right? Uh, we have no publisher. We don't want a publisher. We're going to see what it, how it works on our own. Let's do it. Screw it. We'll figure it out. All right. Our software engineer extraordinaire is in making his new product. And he has iteration one working as he's working on some uh, bugs for the original Spam Choker. We got Spam Choker 2. <laughs> I love that name, Choker. I mean, Spam Choker. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Another day in the bucket. I mean month. Another month in the bucket. Can't forget that these are months, not days. Uh, I remember one time I played this on the three day per month thing and that was just like too much. Long drawn out, taking you forever to do stuff. Iteration 2 is done. Hmm, when should we promise a delivery date for this thing? Once we get it into alpha though, we can start marketing it, right? Isn't that the way that usually goes? Oh no, Spam Trigger does not meet demand. Let's slow things down a little bit here. Go take a look. We've sold 11,000 units of the 10,000 that we had. So that's amazing. Uh, I love how that works. So let's order some copies. We can afford much, much more than that. Let's do another 10,000 copies of, of the Spam Choker. I mean, come on. This thing's a bona fide hit. Look. 
Look how much money it's lost us. $577,000 somehow. I don't, just don't understand. Unavoidable marketing. It's costing us a fortune in marketing is what it comes down to. That's what it seems like to me. So let's take a look at that, actually. Uh, let's see. So in March, it made us... In February, it made 41. In March, it made 46. That is not half a million dollars, folks. Our distribution and our royalties were around 20,000 give or take a few and we made a net profit of $25,000 so here we made $9,800 because our sales were down a little bit because we didn't have enough stuffs to sell copies to sell but now we're down 20,000 for making all those copies that we made all right we're back at it we're on iteration three here for spam choker two you know the one that we're funding ourselves this time because we have 156,000 and somehow we're you know we're losing 577,000 that just these numbers just don't make any sense. I want to see a balance sheet for where that number comes from That's what I want to see. in the next update on 11.5.5.6.3.2.1 So if we're in core dumping Can we please like add that in there and just so we can figure out what's going on with these software releases look now We've lost six hundred and thirty four thousand dollars, and we still can't keep up with with demand somehow uh we're losing we're losing demand but yet we have 9,000 copies in stock and you know the past month we only sold five thousand seven hundred and six dollars worth and we're still losing a buttload um, probably because it's only thirteen dollars we pay for charge for this piece of crap I should probably raise the price of that one since it's such so popular it's crazy sauce I'm telling you um, we need an IT guy because the computers are getting slow as well Let's call IT. Let's call cleaning again because the floors are filthy again after, you know, three months of not being cleaned. I mean, I won't go figure. I don't understand why they get so dirty after three months. I mean, you know, ridiculous. Iteration three is about to be completed and we're going to get screwed on that. He's going to leave early. That bum. I mean, come on, man. You're starting a business here. You shouldn't want to go home. 24-7, bro. 24-7. You got to speak the dream. You got to live the dream, you know. We're in iteration four. We're still not meeting demand somehow. I just again, a lot of broken stuff here. Core dumping. Just want to say, don't be like yeah. I mean, you know, extortion. I mean, electronic. I mean, all right. So we promoted it. We're gonna go market now. Huh. Release date August eighty one. I mean, I think we can get it done by January of eighty two. What do you think? All right. We'll announce a release date. Let's do it. Let's do a press release uh, for text. And let's work on some hype for this as well. We'll keep hyping it. We'll have him do all sorts of stuff, this dude. My, my dude is working hard. He's got lots of tickets here, too. Yeah. After at least this piece of software, it might be time to get some staff in here. Your employees can't keep up with support. What do you mean, employees? You mean me? Me? I can't keep up with support? I get what you're saying. What are you trying to tell me? 160 in queue. 295 missed. Oof. Still got a lot of active users though. Let's take a look here. Yeah, 800,000 we've lost now. This, no. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Broken. Broken core dumping. Fix it. Alright, it is December of 81. We promised this thing released by 80, January of 82. Uh, I think it's 75 percent we gotta boost this thing up here into beta and we'll just deal with the the downfall of it later on here we are January 82 let's try to get some bugs worked out of this thing before we go ahead and ship it out gotta be out by the end of the month right that's all we gotta do the month is ticking on quickly folks we ready to release this thing or what we're coming up on the on the bewitching hour of delivering our fantastic Sequel to Spam Choker with Spam Choker 2 release. Let's go take a look and see what we got here. Budget. I mean, we could spend like $5,000 on it, right? That's all about what we have, unless it's going to be something huge. And then we can figure it out later on. Um, that's the thing with the marketing is they do unavoidable. But I'm really curious to see what the actual profit is on this piece of software. Um, we'll make 15,000 copies. We'll spend 31,000 on it. It's a good investment. We're still over 100,000, well into 100,000, so why not? Ready for the moment of truth? We're going to sell 1 million copies. 
We sold shit. Uh, we have zero active users. That is not good. Okay, Spam Choker's been released. Spam Choker 2 is a sequel to the highly regarded Spam Choker, but isn't as good. We don't know who Extortion Authorization Inc. even is, and nobody knows them in the security market. Fantastic. I don't want to read any more of that trash. Uh, we charged $22 for this thing. We lost 31 That sounds a little bit more reasonable rather than losing a million dollars. It's got to be the marketing stuff that's going on by Fringe Digital. I mean, they, they've got to be losing a fortune by doing the marketing for us. We made $237 last month. This might be a complete freaking bust. Let's change the price of this. We're going to drop the price down to 20 because uh, apparently they don't like it very much. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now it's $20. And let's see, with marketing, if we can get any of this stuff uh, done. All right, so we got the morning here. We have 30 active users. So we actually sold some copies here. We made a whopping $420. I mean, the first one was a bigger success, I think. And the marketing on this is sparse for obvious reasons. Um, the bright side of all this is that we can continue to support Spam Choker because we have uh, no sales on Spam Choker 2. So we don't have to worry about uh, putting any effort into that whatsoever, except for the marketing that we're doing on our own, which is clearly a big mistake. Let, that, let the other companies take the beating for you on that. And, uh, you know, yeah, you just kind of roll with it. You accept the, the fantastic marketing. We're not going to clean anything only because, you know, uh, we can't afford to really at this point. We have 135000 left to work with. And we're going to have to figure out uh, what we're going to do here because now we're we're losing money by the by the bucket loads here. Uh, big time. I mean, we sold $434 that, that month. And maybe we should drop the price of this a little bit more. We'll put it on sale for uh 18 bucks you know it's gotta be more than spam choker one even though it's considered not as good the quality is only great compared to the great quality of uh spam choker but we'll see what that does for us and i think that's gonna do it for this one folks i want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out with me leave comments below leave a like for the video let me know if you want to see some more software ink here on the channel as we go move along with electronic i mean extortion Authorization Inc. here on Software Inc. See you on the channel. And we still made less money than before. Bye bye.